Hi. Have you ever prayed to God for something and not received it? How do you feel? Now, I remember when I was looking for a college here in the States, I had a singular focus. It was University of Minnesota. It's the only college that I visited. I met with the head of the department. I met with all the lecturers in my field. Um, this is where I want to go to. But it didn't happen. Instead, I got a scholarship to attend Tuskegee University in Alabama. Now, at this point in time, I could have easily said to, you know, started to spiral and asked, God, the UM is where I want to go to. University of Minnesota is where I want to go to. Why didn't I get into there? This is, this is what you should have had for me. This is what I asked for. You know, is it that my lifestyle is so bad that you're not hearing my prayer? Is it that my faith is so weak? Is it that I don't believe? What, what's the problem? You know, um, but instead, I've been able to learn a very important lesson. Trust God. You see, I remember the first winter that I, in Alabama, stepping out into the bright, beautiful sunshine. There's frost on the ground and the cold just hit me to the core. And at that point in time, the first th thought was, thank God I'm not in Minnesota. Now, that's just a, a, a trivial thing. You see, being in Tuskegee actually set me on a path for a lot of things. It enabled me to eventually go to UF, where my wife and I both were able to study um, at the same university just after getting married. Um, it also sent me on a path that strengthened my faith, that helped me to learn more about my Christian walk, and actually led me to the path to be where I am now, here, working at Oasis Church. So yes, I pray to get into University of Minnesota, but God had other plans, and this is a big lesson for me. Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. Trust in the Lord. Lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, submit to Him, and He will make your path straight. So when we go to God in prayer, yes, we go to Him with all the faith that we have. We go to Him believing that He can do anything and will do anything. But there's another layer that we need to have, and that is that we have to trust Him to do what is best. So when you go to God and you pray, you may not get the answer that you want. Don't get dis disappointed. Ask yourself this. Do you trust God? Proverbs 3, 5, 6. Lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, submit to him and he'll make your path straight. Have a great day. Trust God.